Here I am at Partica Gallery at the entrance to the Why the Water Project exhibition. It began with a project in Canterbury in 2017 with 13 contemporary New Zealand artists. We travelled around the area looking at riverways, looking at the way water was treated and mistreated by humanity. And then we went back to our studios around the country. So when you walk into the exhibition on the left, the first thing you see is a piece by Phil Dadson, the installation performance artist. It's Phil playing stones from a riverbed with water pouring on them at the same time, making that beautiful deep river music. Then there's a work by Ross Himera, who's a Kati Mamoi Naitahu artist who um, was brought up in South Canterbury and who was very much of the region that we travelled around. He's produced this work called Huawei, which is made up out of some stones from the Southern Alps, some pieces of piping used for irrigation, upon which he had printed um, copies of images from Maori rock art in the South Canterbury area. Like all the works in the show, I think they're asking questions about, you know, do we care about water enough? Do we understand it enough? Do we realise that water has mythical elements? It, it exists in human history, it exists in natural history. It's one of the great solvents, it makes things happen, it makes life happen. So the work that I have made here is about the experience of viewing. You stand in front of the work, the work is actually has a three-dimensional surface, an undulating surface. And so the, the water has a, feels like it has a movement to it, a pulse. Well, it's a simulation of, of, of being real. Is this all we have left? If we don't have any pure water left, is, is this all we left with something sort of virtual? The work behind subliminal activity is based on bacteria. The idea of that being there are things that we don't see, so there's a subliminal activity, something under the surface. Things may look okay, but not there necessarily. Brett Graham is one of the leading contemporary Māori artists and it was a great honour to have him on the um, original hikoi around the South Island in 2017. He made a work called Plus and Minus, which is made up out of a number of video screens. When you first look at it, it could be a piece of minimalism or pattern painting. It has kind of an extreme formalism to it. It also almost looks a bit scientific too. Some people think originally it looks like, you know, like eggs or eyes. Um, in actual fact though, what you're looking at when you see this work of Brett's is an aerial view taken from a drone of an effluent um, dispersal unit on a farm um, spraying around basically contaminated water, probably from a milking shed or something, onto a large white canvas. So I guess what we're looking at here is a human intervention into the landscape. One of the most important artists I think living in the Porirua region at the moment is Bruce Foster who was a very key um, figure in the water project. He was part of the devising of it back in 2017. Yeah. So he took a number of photographs in Lake Ellesmere at the foot of Banks Peninsula, really looking at both the beauty of the place but also the way that toxins and radioactivity, mercury poisoning, all sorts of bad things were going on in the water. So he did a number of works that were quite cautionary of which there's a beautiful one of a dinghy in, in the water in the show. And there is a work in the show called Murma 4 a video installation which is sort of being premiered here at Partica. It didn't exist before in this form. And I think here we have a work that really is quite profoundly wonderful, moving, very, very unsettling, but also beautiful. I think water is very good at mixing up all these emotions and all these effects. It is the universal solvent in terms of its effect on our emotions.